Entering through the large black door, carpeting permanently attached between the door and its frame to lessen the noise, he stands in the relative darkness of the stage left wings, listening. This is one of his favorite moments. We hear the first few measures of I've never been in love before. This begins the overture. When the cast hears it, it move into guys and dolls. Everyone in the wings begins to dance. A Runyon Land tourist dancing with a three-card money dealer, the blind man with his dark glasses and cane, the prostitutes, the bobby soxers with the ponytails, the pickpocket, and the man in the suit wearing the Mindy's cheesecake board. All are moving, their bodies are dancing silently, mouthing the words, smiling. The audience listens with anticipation, looking at the stage, dark in its blue lights, the backdrop painted with names like Times Square and Mindy's. They are unaware of the show behind those curtains. Even the forever pressured stage manager's body sways as she is carried by the music's rhythm and the pure joy of the energy waiting to call out the next cue. The lights come up, and the music cues the entrance of each of these groups. <clears throat> he quietly clears his throat, although he will not speak or sing in this scene, and checks his fly, though the costume pants have no zipper. Superstition or force to happen. And then he enters the stage playing a tourist. An actor and character are one overcome with the excitement of looking out and above the audience into the sold-out theater. Yet seeing the buildings, the people, the traffic of Times Square, he's whispering excitedly to the other tourists, taking pictures, waiting for the pickpocket to steal the Texan's watch so he and the other tourists can exit stage right and move rapidly to the dressing room to quickly change into the next costume, the mission uniform, and enter moments later as the mission band. The music has begun. It is guys and dolls based on the colorful Damon Runyon characters that inhabit New York. The Showgirls. Gamblers and the petty criminals. Luck be a lady tonight. Luck be a lady tonight. Luck if you've ever been a lady to begin with. Luck be a lady tonight. And the holy rollers. Fall on the boat and stray no more. Stray no more. Stray no more. Fall down the bottle and we'll say. It has been his favorite musical forever. It was the first musical for which he auditioned, although he did not get the part, perhaps because during the dance audition, he circled and leapt to the right, as the other 14 actors circled and leapt to the left. But now, after two and one half months of rehearsals, he is happily part of the cast, working their asses off while on stage and laughing together as they watch the show on a monitor backstage. Will the hot box girls' gowns come off smoothly as they strip off their minks? What will the actors with the bigger personalities do to enhance the conga line or the fight scene in Havana? Will the audience finally laugh at the line when Sarah says, Dulce de leche would be a wonderful way to get children to drink milk. <laughs> the musical ends as it began in Times Square. It's a very happy scene. The cast is smiling and ready for that final song. He loves the finale with the whole cast sending a wall of happy sound out to the audience. The entire cast is assembled for the wedding of Miss Adelaide and Nathan Detroit after a 14-year engagement. Nathan has caught Adelaide's psychosomatic cold, sneezing as he realizes the consequences of his upcoming marriage. The musical director hits a chord, and the cast sings... Bows. Acknowledgement for the band. Final bows. Waves to the audience, and he exits, grinning into those same wings where he entered. Even as the audience files out, 
he and his fellow cast members continue to dance and sing all the way to the dressing room.